Welcome to another video of Rose Hiles presenting Strange Lua stuff. Um, I'm not sure if even someone is watching this, but there has been great progress. Okay, look at the right to the health shrine. As you can see, you can't place it. And if I get farther away, I'm able to place it. This is because now there is a check for items if they met certain conditions before they can be used. This is all script able in new Lua. The health shrine has a condition to have a certain distance before you can place it. The mana shrine has the opposite condition. You can only place it when you're next to a friendly building, like the stronghold. I'm getting a second mana shrine and wasting some of your time. It's a lovely day in the US. The sun is shining, the birds are trying to kill you. Perfect. Okay, and you can see, bam, I can place a mana shrine and I added more scripting shit to it, which was a bad idea. Okay, everything is fine. The mana shrine can be placed when it's um, next to a stronghold. And yeah, the health shrine can only be placed if it's far enough from, um, yeah, from anything, from any building. So let's continue going. Set. There are some conditions for items. We have to wait a short amount of time to make our items ready again. And you will see. Our mana shrine can't be placed even if we're next to a building because it takes to account that it only is allowed next to its team buildings. This can be good for a special item which defends stuff like items you can only place next to your buildings. And if we have a look at our health shrine, it works generally not next to buildings. You have to place it somewhere in the field. We could do something like this for spawn portals too, so you can't place your spawn portal next to a building, which I wouldn't recommend. But let's say we make a funny item which only works if it's not next to a building, like um, like it draws NPCs there or something. Yeah, or um, it heals a lot, but you don't want people to heal next to the buildings they are attacking just outside of it. Yeah, that's it. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on for this stuff. Like we have now functions which are called each frame and decide um, if can activate be activated and we have now utility functions in Lua directly which is, uh, which is a bit slower but generally um, useful so you don't have to compile everything like is a building in range, is a team building in range, is something a building, is something a combat entity, is something in range in general and the fact is we can now get an entity as a Lua table and call our functions on it and it's way easier than scripting in K2. Okay, that's it. Bye.